Hi everyone, my name is Oliver. I'm one of the interns that's working with Kelly right now. Since I'm working from home, I thought I'd make a video to show you guys what are the differences in between canned beans and dry beans. Now when it comes to beans, I always keep one or two bags of dry beans in my pantry. So why do I go for dried beans instead of canned beans? There are a couple differences after all. One, canned beans do come in prepared already, so you don't have to soak them or cook them for a long time in a pot or instant pot or pressure cooker. But one of the downsides is the volume it comes in, they do take more space on the shelf. So if you do have a limited space pantry, I would tend to go for dried beans. Now whether you keep chickpeas at home or black beans at home, if it's in the can, they will add sodium into it. It's the amount of sodium that they add into the can that differs between the products. If you don't see any labels that say reduced sodium or low sodium or no salt added, typically it adds the full amount of sodium into the can. If I do buy canned products, I normally go for low sodium products. So how do you prepare dried beans? Dry beans, just like canned beans, they have an extremely long, stable shelf life. So if you buy them two, three years ago, most likely they'll still good in your pantry. All you have to do is pour them into a bowl like this. Make sure it's not over a quarter of the way full and just fill up the bowl with water. Leave it over on the counter overnight. Let it soak. You'll see the volume of the beans will expand almost doubling its size. So that means a bag like this will probably produce twice its size in serving amounts. Now another reason why I like to keep some variety of dried beans in my pantry is because they come in different varieties. So mung beans, typically you'll find these in your Asian supermarket. Dried lentils, it can be red, green or yellow. Split chickpeas, you won't find these in canned versions either. So things like this, it's always an easy reach when I'm trying out different recipes. Now with all that being said, it doesn't matter if you choose to keep bags or dry beans at home or canned beans at home, they're all very nutritious food sources. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.